Hi all, I have a very interesting game to show you hot off the press from TSEC. So that's at tsec-chess.com. Fantastic tournament so far. Very, very hard fought. Here in round 38, Leela is playing white against Stockfish. And the opening book is given very minim minimally as c4 for Leela's play. And Stockfish plays knight c6. So this is like my tango system, but against the English opening. And we have d4, e5, uh, d5. And now I would routinely play knight e7 to g6, and that is the book in chess base live book to play knight c7. Just get the knight to g6, then later usually the bishop would come to c5. And if knight f3 immediately, not playing e4 because that kind of weakens dark squares, but d6 and g6 and maybe an accelerated f5 coming up later, that should be a small edge for white. But black has you know potential kingside counterplay. Uh, another alternative here. If on knight c e7, if knight c3, I get very nice positions quite often here with the dark square bishop being very nice on the dark squares. You can see the light squares and the adjacent dark squares, they're actually often, it's black that has nice dark square control. So I was very, very shocked actually in this game for what happened now after d5. Stockfish improvised with bishop b4 check. It's giving up what is kind of usually a precious dark square bishop to me, potentially. Because after knight d2, knight c e7, Leela plays now queen a4, and it's already pretty awkward for this bishop. If it wants to retreat now, uh, it's getting virtually trapped. Uh, for example, um, you know, it's it's looking like e3, and it's, it's just losing time. It's going to have to lose time. So, in fact... The, the intention of Stockfish after a5, a3 is just to give up that dark square bishop. But to make matters worse, to kind of uh, emphasize a potential issue and ex exacerbate the issue here, after knight f6, knight f3, uh, Stockfish plays e4, kind of weakening these dark squares, making this bishop even more potentially powerful now on this diagonal. It's just very, very strange improvisation. Um, it's like the worst improvised opening play, in fact, I've seen from Stockfish for quite a while, uh, if if not ever in the history of TSEC, uh, to be honest, because the dark square bishop is kind of a dangerous weapon here. Uh, black castles, we have e3, d6, and our bishop c3. Already, white sits on uh, quite a number of big positional advantages. Nice dark square bishop looking at dark squares. B5 has been compromised, so a knight can perch on B5. As a junior, I remember John Nunn going on about one of his games against Victor Korshnoy, where he played A5 in the King's Engine. Um, and I'm just going to turn off uh, a couple of things over there, distracting uh, TSEC chat. is getting very active at the moment. Uh, but B5 is a, a, a wonderful uh, square for white here, given that a knight can go there, you know, without punishment and without being kicked with a6. So there's that b5 trump card as well. We have uh, knight g6, queen c2, queen e7, and white castles queenside. And maybe the threat is much stronger than the execution. I think Stockfish is seeing a lot of dangers now, evidentially, concretely. After bishop d7, we have knight b5, uh, knight e5, if here the forcing moves c6, then just taking and knight takes d6 is is okay. White well, can play this with with an advantage. So knight uh, e5, we have king b1, uh, rook f c8. So an exciting opposite side castling scenario. But after h3, the writing's really starting to be on the wall. After h6, rook g1, quiet move, uh, starting to prepare nasty things against the black king. We have c5. A4, trying to stop any uh, queenside counterplay. So the queenside's kind of locked up. Bishop takes B5, A takes. Uh, C takes maybe C4, and uh, this is uh, m maybe a little bit more interesting than the game continuation uh, for black. But So after A takes, this seems a bit stronger uh, to not give C4 to black. Uh, a4, we have bishop e2, and now, yeah, it looks as though because of this imminent kingside attack, maybe Stockfish's impressive 
calculating power that you can see through through the live uh, streams you know looking at billions of possessions <laughs> you know every second it seems it seems to capitulate it's it just seems to just give up a pawn now for nothing knight d3 i guess it thinks that white's attack is altogether quicker here but white is equipped with this dark square bishop um you know for example just before we look at knight d3 if knight g6 f4 uh this is looking pretty ominous uh you know the two bishops versus the two knights here uh the once the lines are going to be open white's getting a big advantage if a3 as an, another example this looks just fantastic for white the, these kind of scenarios where even if the knight comes to d3 like that look the queen's getting trapped here in this this is getting ridiculous but otherwise you know g5 it, it looks as though g5 and bishop c2 later it's just horrendous uh stuff it seems the writing's on the wall and stockfish just gives up a pawn here with uh this there doesn't seem to be much compensation uh rookie eight the bishop can drop back and come back with a vengeance once the e4 is square is sorted out with f3 for example uh rook a3 puts an end to that a pawn uh, moving queen e4 okay the queen's come off and you might think well doesn't this offer stockfish uh, any sort of salvation because at least it won't be subjected to a horrific kingside attack the problem is uh white is now preparing to play e5 rather thematically this looks like a dreaded benoni structure where e5 in the benoni is the key strategic break and white's position just looks beautiful now just preparing this e5 uh Lilo really is making it look entirely simple to play against this vast calculating entity who would have thought that this vast calculating entity could improvise an opening so atrociously uh, to give literally white the dark square bishop and then start weakening the dark squares then just give up a pawn for nothing and then just have this position with the black pieces it's it's just shocking it's absolutely shocking uh play from stockfish so knight c8 g3 knight b6 and and black is reduced to passivity complete passivity here uh so let's see what happened uh, so the a pawn is also a disconnected pawn that's just given up here uh, without without too much fuss I mean <laughs> there was no protecting it anyway because of bishop a5 so two pawns down uh, and yeah it carries on a bit the game let's have a look but yeah this is like one of Stockfish 11's most shocking the bad openings ever played I would say uh, Lila hasn't really done anything too sophisticated or clever it seems it seems just logical positional play Maybe, you know, Nimzovich's expression, the threat is often stronger than the execution, is more amplified for a vast calculating entity that's looking at, you know, billions of positions a second. Once it realizes, you know, the writing's on the wall, it just starts giving up material. Uh, so here, it's just, it's just two pawns down. It's three pawns down. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought that the, the play of the black pieces is over you know 3300 you know on some rating lists it's it's just ridiculously crushing game uh yep let's just look i mean it's just the lost table base position if nothing else here absolutely lost so the game ended at move 78 so yeah the most shockingly bad uh, opening played by stockfish definitely in this entire match as far as i've just seen and it's just hot off the press this game and i would suspect uh, it's it's the worst opening i've seen in following t-sec over the years that stockfish has ever played as well so yeah interesting experiments um there was speculation that stockfish was actually helped by the long opening uh lines given in t-sec and this is strong evidence this game yes stockfish is helped by an opening book it has a dependency on an opening book as it has a kind of dependency i guess later on on table basis uh one of the missions of the alpha zero uh team uh you know led by demis Sapis, was to make the alpha zero neural network system not need an opening book not even need a table base to be independent of all these other little components uh to be you know one 
evolutionary system that doesn't need all these accessories. Here it seems Stockfish, without the accessory of the opening book, can play a truly disastrous game of chess. And I'm astonished because yesterday I thought Stockfish was uh, on course for you know crushing this match. Uh, it had a massive evaluation uh, early on, which they couldn't comprehend until much later it was spelled out. So it's very, very interesting, the strengths and weaknesses of both engines. But this game severely, it seems, demonstrates to me how Stockfish can be really exposed, maybe possibly more in positional openings where it has to improvise. It just seems to give trump cards... Oh, and trump card just on a plate literally to the opponents and and then ends up having to give material to compensate for that after a truly shocking game uh please let me know what you think uh so anyway uh so at this moment in time leader is now two points up in this match so um Okay, if you want to challenge me for a game, by the way, kingscrusher.tv or bit.ly slash chessworld. And if you register at chessworld, I'll invite you for a game shortly after. Uh, there's a nice Kingscrusher TV suave chat forum uh, at Kingscrusher TV slash discord. And there's also those playlists to check out. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief game coverage. I'm just shocked. I don't know about you. Okay, thanks very much.